All right, hey, it's been two weeks since the video, so uh, not much progress was made, but uh, we are working on the bed. So uh, here's what we've got going on. Here's the frame. All right, remember that the bed is going at the end, at the end of the fridge. And back is the bed platform that's going to raise and lower. So Willie has put... Uh, this is just temporary. There's going to be a couch here, but uh, Willie put that up so that when we set down the bed, we can make sure that uh, it's going to work in our track. But here is the bed track. Let's talk about the frame for a second. All right. Here is the frame. Uh, Willie put it together. Basically, this is going to be right here. This piece of metal, whatever. This is the drawer that comes out. This is the place where it goes in, but we're going to probably readdress this. But this is the actual metal frame that he built for me. And this, these guys will be in the tracks. So there's wheels that snap on the ends of these. Uh, but this is the actual bed frame and we'll put just some uh, plywood over the top of this. But uh, so this is a recess. This is a custom recess uh, for the TV so that the bed can go up and over around the television. I believe. Assuming the television isn't too big. And, <laughs> and uh, wheels pop in here. And they're on, uh, the wheels are on springs so that as these two walls will pull, uh, the springs will uh, allow the bed not to... Uh, snap or break uh, so that was a, also a custom piece but those spring loaded these are supposed to, this is a this is a hanging door track uh, but it's uh, being utilized for the bed track there's a motor here we cut this down the original one came longer we cut this down a little bit I believe and these are the pulleys and these these four spots, All right? And so, uh, Willie's working t uh, tomorrow to uh, get this thing finished. But uh, because of all of the, I mean, you have to remember that you're in uh, level five earthquake conditions all the time in a rig like this. So, uh, considering that, we're going to make it so that those uh, the cables with those little uh, tw uh, twist down clamps that you put on them, we're gonna weld them so that there is just a permanent catch at the bottom. Uh, so basically, uh, bolted the, the, these are the two catch points. Uh, see that? So they'll screw in here and then there's a spring here so that it, uh, the bed can pull out, you know, as the, as the truck shakes. Uh, anyway, go up into the top position, at which point you run uh, um, the pin through this. And uh, we'll have uh, a stopper, I believe, on the bottom for this to rest on. Uh, yeah. And uh, it'll be in the upright position. Probably that's going to be right here, uh, the top position. And so then you run the pin through right here in all four corners, and then it's load bearing because this is only rated for about 500 pounds, 450 I believe maybe. So and we're also going to put these drawer. Um, what do you? Whatever those are called. Anyway, for my sky desk. So uh, once the the escape hatch opens up. At the end of the bed platform, which is right here, bed platform hovering yay high, or back here, and then the sky desk platform slides out, and I can sit through the emergency exit through my waist, and I have a desk that's 13 feet up in the air. This is the switch for the, the dimmer switch for the lights above. And then we're going to also put lights 
on on this platform as well. That's about that's about where we're at. Maybe I'll just do another tour of this of the other stuff. Kick the uh, kick these seats out, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what seats I'm going to be putting in here. Have to put a. <laughs> accordion seal here I have to build this I have to build this up in here probably going to abandon the idea to put windows in here and here abandon all those windows still planning to put a door here so that I can access my my closet space which will be a fake air dam on the top of the top of the cab we may take this out or at least knock it down here so that we don't have any blockage between the pulley and the track or I'm sorry things here there's not this not in the way really but uh, we may end up taking that down what else can I don't know. But this guy weighs about 150 pounds. It's serious. Um, Alright. I got real boring at the end there. But thanks for watching. We'll put more videos up. I had a work stoppage there for a good two.